Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to refurb an old, um, pretty fucked up steering wheel. In this case it's from my Lotus Esprit. Um, my Esprit has got a non-standard Momo and I wanted a standard wheel so I found this uh, in one of the breakers. Um, as you can see it's a little bit worse for wear. I've already used some of this stuff. It's Connolly Hyde food and it's already looking a lot better. Um, but I also want to do a few other things to it to, um, to make it so I've ordered I found a, a Lotus horn push for this so I'm waiting for that to arrive that's going to make a big difference the leather's sort of quite cracked and, and worn it's not too bad um, the, the hide food has helped it already but I'm probably going to use some leather colorant to bring it back to life really you shouldn't feed the hide before doing the colouring because it will stop it sticking um, but um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some leather cleaner on it now to take whatever's left on the surface hopefully the, the hide's been absorbed the hide food's been absorbed in the leather itself clean the surface so that the leather colourant will stick before that I've got some sort of filler where there's a couple of little nicks and gauges which need to be filled which I'm going to do and then once I've coloured it, which I'm going to use this sponge for and this leather colourant, um, then there is the leather finish, which is something that seals in the colour. Okay, so first thing to do is to use some dedicated filler to take out some of the sort of little marks that are on this. Um, marks like that, they're just too shallow to do anything about I think in this case, uh, but little gauges like that you can sort out. Now the foam backing that this has doesn't spring back so I tried with some heat and but it hasn't really made any difference um, so the only way to deal with those little marks is to fill them. Just take some of this So, you can see here, that's nice and flush now, and so is that one. So basically you've got to wait for that to dry now, um, before we do anything else. Okay, now the wheel has a couple of quite minor marks, they're not very deep, there's one there, one there. Um, so what I'm going to do with that is use some liquid filler first. Um, which actually sort of penetrates the leather as well um, and then if necessary I'll use some of the heavier filler on top of that. I have to say I've used Dynamic Sand Furniture Clinic and a few others and Furniture Clinic which comes a kit with uh, an airbrush as well normally is probably the best that I've used so far. Um, there it is. Now as I say, there is one option of using an airbrush, but it is quite a hassle and I've found that really for small surfaces like this, just using a, a, a cut up sponge and so on is an equally good way of applying it all. So to be honest, I don't think you really need to use the liquid filler, but I've got it so I'm going to use it anyhow. Um, so in the bits where you can see where it's a bit scuffed and so on, I'm just applying a bit of the liquid filler just to strengthen it, because that will get absorbed and give a good key for the thicker sort of uh, filler which I'm going to apply later on. Okay, so once the filler is dry, the liquid filler gets some of the thicker filler. Okay, so now all the various bits have been filled, you can just about see them there, all the bits that needed doing. So it's time for to start using the die. 
bits here as well. I did fill in the shadow bits in the end, that seemed to work okay, so that's fine. So, next stage is the colouring. So the key to this is not to put on too much uh, at one, any one time. And to always use a dabbing motion like that. So I'm being quite careful here not to go too close to the stitching because I don't want to dye that stitching. Right, so once that's all dry, uh, the next step is to put on some uh, sealant. The next and final step is to put on some sealant onto the wheel. So for that, I'm gonna use the Furniture Clinic leather finish in satin, which I think makes, oh, I don't know, it works best for this kind of thing, really. So I've already, <coughs> I've already done the, the up there. So again, just use your sponge. What this does is it seals in the dye, makes it a longer lasting finish, but also it gives it a nice satin sort of look. Okay, so then it should be really two coats of this stuff uh, and let it dry off in between coats. Right, so the wheel is almost done now. The ceiling layer has been put on, uh, everything's pretty much ready. I got some bits from Lotus, including this original um, horn push here, uh, which they still have, which is nice. Uh, and all we've got to do is basically pop that into the wheel, like that. And the wheel is ready to be fitted in the car. Look at that. Doesn't that look so much better? Very pleased with that. So, um, I hope this little guy helped you. Um, the wheel definitely looks a lot better. It's not perfect, it still looks used, but I think that's good. Um, so yeah, I hope it was useful for you and good luck in sorting out your own steering wheels and other bits like that. Cheers.